All right, ladies and gents, now that we've cut out pieces of our lipstick stains and added them to the test tubes, as you can see here, it's time to add our lipstick solvent. Now our solvent today is essentially a mixture of both polar and non-polar solvents. Uh, polar solvents, when you hear polar, I want you to think essentially that it is soluble in water. So anything water soluble will dissolve in our polar solvents. Um, nonpolar is, think, think it would be soluble in something like vegetable oil, something that doesn't mix well with water. Um, why do we need both? Because some organic uh, chemicals are polar and will only dissolve in polar solvents. Other organic chemicals are nonpolar and will only dissolve in nonpolar solvents. Now here's the problem though. If we look at our lipstick solvent, you can see it actually separates into two distinct layers and we want some of each layer in our test tube. Now there's a couple ways we could try to get both layers in. We can try to stir this up really, really quick so it uh, essentially mixes together and then just add it a little bit at a time. Or uh, the actual better technique is place our solvent. We have our dropper pipette. You're going to squeeze the bulb of the pipette like so. Place it all the way to the bottom layer and suck some up by releasing the bulb. We're then going to add about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven drops of our bottom layer to each test tube. Two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, we're then going to put the rest back into our beaker. And now you're gonna do the same thing except with the upper layer. So once again, squeeze the bulb of your pipette, insert it into the upper layer, and suck some of it up. And once again, about seven drops into each test tube. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That was eight. That shouldn't make much of a difference. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, let's go place the rest back into our beaker so we can dispose of it. Remember, we'll, we will not pour the leftover chemicals back into the stock bottle because they're essentially contaminated by the glassware and by using the pipette. Now, if you look in the bottom of our test tubes, we can see we have a, a little bit of our solvent in there with our lipstick. You can see it's starting to dissolve some already. And we want the extraction process to go for about 15 minutes. Uh, to make sure we get as much material out of our lipstick stains as possible. So if you look here, let me get that in. And then here. Now to help this process alone, along into each of our test tubes, we're going to insert a stirring rod to essentially help agitate. So we're going to do that every couple of minutes during the 15 minute time span. It's going to be a separate stirring rod for each sample. And while we wait for that stuff to process, we're going to clean up the extra drips and we are going to work on getting our chromatography plate ready. So stay tuned.